If I were completely honest at this point in the book of Job, I would have to say Elihu was a sniveling little brat. He's a young guy that comes out of nowhere, jumps into a big boy conversation without an invitation. Everyone is done talking, but Elihu keeps going on and on and on for six more chapters. But in chapters 36 and 37, Elihu's tone changes and his words start making sense. He's no longer critical about Job or his friends. He begins talking instead about the attributes of a loving and merciful God. In chapter 36, Elihu claims to speak on God's behalf as he declares the Lord's justice and righteousness. He points to God, not himself, as the possessor of perfect knowledge. He speaks of God rewarding the obedient and the sad fate of the hypocrites those who deny their sin and guilt. Then Elihu acknowledges the greatness of God by saying, Behold, God is exalted by his power. Who teaches like him? Who has assigned him his way or who has said, You have done wrong? Elihu began speaking wisdom when he expresses the greatness of God through a powerful storm. And in chapter 37, Elihu continues to describe the power of God in his mighty voice and the control it has even over nature. It seems as long as Elihu is focused on the attributes of God, he speaks the truth of God. But as he once again turns his thoughts and his words toward Job at the end of the chapter, we see his pride and arrogance reemerge. So what can we learn from this young man named Elihu in the book of Job? First, I think we need to listen more than we talk. That's true wisdom, a character quality encouraged in scripture. And then when we do speak, let's talk all, always, and only about Jesus. I found that I can't go wrong when I let him speak his words of life through me.